Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make an authentic Cantonese dim sum Bak Tong Go White Sugar Cake So let's get started So first step We're going to add 125 grams of rice flour Then I'm going to add 149 grams of water To mix with the rice flour So you can see that my batter is very thick. I need to add a little bit more water to make it a little bit um, watery. So I add another 20, 25 grams of water. Now we're going to set this batter aside. Next step, we're going to turn the burner into a high heat and then add two milk. And then add 95 grams of white sugar. Now just stir the water until it comes to a boil and make sure all the sugars dissolve before we pour it into the rice batter. So now the sugar water is boiled. We're gonna pour the water into the mixed uh, rice batter that we did before. And then mix it. So you want the batter you want the batter to be around 130 degrees F to 141 degrees F. See? So this is good temperature right here. Now we're just going to mix it. So before we can proceed to the next step, we need to let the batter cool off. Um, down to 95 degrees F to 105 degrees F so you can see the batter uh, mixture right now is 99 degrees Fahrenheit so we're good to go I dissolved 2 grams of uh, active dry yeast with uh, 1 tablespoon of water so we're gonna add it to the batter And then mix it. Now we're gonna cover up with with a plastic wrap and let it sit for one to two hours before we can add the baking powder and other and to the next step. Now it's been two hours well, with the rice batter. You can see that small bubbles are forming in the batter. Now we're gonna proceed to the next step. I am a chef. I'm going to add about 3 grams of baking powder, 1, table, one teaspoon of oil, and then mix it. Now after we mix everything, now let it sit for another 10 to 20 minutes. I already coated the, the plate with a thin layer of oil. Now we're going to pour the rice batter onto the plate. Now we're going to steam the rice cake batter from um, for 10 to 15 minutes. Now time's up. Off the heat. Remove the rice cake. No, remove the sh white sugar cake from the steam rack. Oh, shoot. Now we have to wait until the white sugar cake cooled off before we remove from the mold. Now the white sugar cake or the bak tong go is cooled off. We get ready to remove it from the mold. Then we're going to take another plate, so apply a little bit of oil on the bottom and lightly coat the bottom with the layer of oil so that way the white sugar cake doesn't stick to the bottom. Then place this guy on top and flip it over 
There you go. There you go. So. So, this is white sugar cake, or bak tong go, a th authentic, an authentic Cantonese dim sum. You can get this. See how it's spongy, and the air pockets. That's the effect from the um, dry yeast and baking powder. Thank you for watching. If you like this video. Please subscribe.